If you're like me, you've been super interested in cryptocurrency. You've been watching it from the sidelines. You're seeing it explode all around you. And you've finally decided it's time to jump into cryptocurrency. How do I do it? Where do I go? Who do I turn to? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the trading platform that I'm going to use for day trading and long term investing in cryptocurrencies. I'm going to dive into the trading platform. I'm going to show you the charting software. I'm going to show you how to enable this option, the crypto option in your account. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to show you both ways that you can actually place the crypto order. Most people think about buying crypto in one form, but I'm actually going to show you another way to place your order that this broker offers that's very slick, makes a lot of sense. So why waste any more time? Let's jump into the video. So the trading platform that I'm going to use for all of this is the Tastyworks platform because they've just offered and opened up what they call Tasty Crypto. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over into their website first and show you how to enable this. Now this is all live. I haven't enabled crypto yet, so you're kind of walking through this with me. So if I flip over to their website, you go to tastyworks.com and again, there is a link in the description of this video. If you use that link to sign up for a Tastyworks account and fund the account with $2,000, the Taking Trades YouTube channel will get a credit and I'll be forever indebted to you. So thank you ahead of time for that. So if I come over to tastyworks.com and I log in, this is my wheel account. This is the account that you guys saw in this video over here where I'm talking about the wheel, selling puts, selling covered calls. I'm gonna be putting out an updated video very soon, but that is this account. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna to go to my accounts and if you come down to trading preferences, this very last selection, and you click that, this will open up just some different preferences that you can pick through within Tastyworks. If you go to the bottom or actually the middle, you can see cryptocurrency trading right here. So it tells you that it's available for all their cash and margin accounts. What you cannot do is you can't trade crypto right now in your retirement accounts like traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, things like that through Tastyworks. Right now it's just cash and margin accounts only. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the, the enable button in crypto trading. I'm gonna click that and what it's gonna do is it's going to enable cryptocurrency trading and tell me to please read and agree to all the documents below. They use zero hash as the hot wallet so they let you know about that and I've already gone through all that so I'm gonna click I agree to all the conditions and I'm gonna enable cryptocurrency trading. So I'm getting this attention box says at this time only a single account per customer may be utilized for cryptocurrency trading. So they're just wanting you to confirm that you're not gonna set up multiple crypto trading accounts. Please confirm that you wish for this to be your primary cryptocurrency trading account my wheel account I'm gonna say yes to that and that should load up and that should send it off it's enabled already well that was quick so we're good to go so now what I can do is I can actually just sign out of this account and then I can come back over to the platform here all right so I'm back over in the account now what tastyworks does a nice job with is setting up their charting software they decided to go ahead and sort of set these up side by side if you have a larger screen I had this up on my large monitor earlier and you could put up four charts right next to each other you can also just type in the ticker in your larger chart if you wanted to come over to this chart you could also just say you know you can put in like your Bitcoin um, versus USD and it'll bring it up on this chart so you can do that and then if you have a huge monitor you can also do a pop out window using this functionality and you could pop this out and make it really big and you can add different columns and rows but for this right now I just want to come over here and I just want to come over to where their primary crypto trading window. And I want to show you how you can get involved with simply buying and selling cryptocurrencies, many different types of cryptocurrencies. And you could use this for day trading if you're wanting to get involved with the big swings we've been seeing in some of the cryptos, like Bitcoin. If you want to take advantage of those intraday, you could do that here. And one thing to know, there's no PDT rule for cryptocurrencies because they technically aren't considered securities. So I guess that's a way around the PDT rule. You could trade crypto. Now, in addition, you could also be an investor. You could just buy and hold some crypto. And I'm considering possibly buying and holding some crypto. I may also intraday trade it. I haven't fully decided, but I wanted to enable it. I wanted to present it to you all and show you how to get it set up just so that you have the ability to do it if you ever want to. Now, they do a nice job with their watch lists over here. You can actually select crypto and it'll bring up every crypto that they offer. It shows the last price. You can customize this for whatever you want to display in your, in your chart here, but you can see every crypto and where it's currently trading. Now, when we get into these charts, 
You can pop these out, you can zoom them, you can do whatever you want with them. But within Tasty Crypto, you can buy and you can sell. Now, this is not a transactional broker. You can't take your Bitcoin and go buy a Tesla if Elon allows that. You can't transact. You can only buy and sell. So you can hold the coins, but you can't do anything else with them. So that's why I say it's good for long-term investing or for day trading if you want to be in and out of your positions. Now, they do use a company called Zero Hash, and that's what's called a hot wallet. I have another video that I can link below about crypto wallets. I'll link that in the description. You can check that out, but and that'll explain to you what a hot wallet is. But Zero Hash is Tastyworks hot wallet. So your coins are actually stored at Zero Hash. So you don't have to worry about setting up a wallet. Now you can't take the coins out and move them around. They have to stay at Zero Hash if you use Tastyworks. But for me right now, Tastyworks is a super reputable platform. I trust them with my money. I've been trading with them for a while, so I'm okay using their hot wallet with zero hash, the auto implemented hot wallet. So if you want to switch your different types, if you want to jump into something, you want to jump into Bitcoin, you can select it here. But if you want to get into anything else, you can just pick it from the drop down. So you're a polka dot person. There you go. Polka dot. You want to come over. And what's nice is when you select one like EOS, it'll tell you the name EOS coin. If you come down to PAXG, it's Paxos Gold. So you can just pop around Bitcoin Cash, whatever you want to trade, you can do that right here. Now, to place these orders, I told you that if you stayed till the end of the video, we could get into both types of orders. And this is really cool because some people like to buy like a whole coin or a fractional coin. And then there are another group of people who just want to come in and spend a fixed dollar amount. Like I only want to buy $200 of uh, let's let's make it fun. Bat coin, basic attention token. Let's do bat. B A T. I want to buy a hundred dollars of bat every month, but I don't want to figure out you know what fraction that is. I just want to say a hundred bucks. So what you can do down here, the, the first way you can buy is if you select market, you can come in and say I want to buy you know let's do like twenty point five coins, okay? And if you do twenty point five coins, it's going to tell you the estimated dollar, how much you're going to have to spend to buy this bat coin. But if you're the type I just described where you want to just come in, and this is the second way of trading, I promise you, that's super cool, is instead of picking out your fractional share, you can just say, you know what, let's just trade dollar amount. I wanna buy $200 of bat coin, and that's all I want. It'll tell you right away how much the quantity is gonna be, 271.75 coins, okay? And then it's got the market set up, so you can then just review and send the order out, and it'll spend exactly $200, not a penny more, not a penny less. So very slick to use. You can buy and sell any of these, and the one thing you should be aware of is you can't short sell any crypto at this time. So you can't borrow shares, sell them, and then buy them back lower, like you would with AMD or Tesla or any other stock that you may have a margin account with. In crypto, in the crypto space, you can only buy and sell. Now, at this point in the video, you're probably thinking, okay, this is great, but Jimmy, what are the fees involved with Tasty? What's Tasty Crypto? Let's get into that. So first of all, you have to know that they require that you at least spend $1. That's the minimum, $1, which I think is pretty cool because that allows anybody, I mean anybody, to come in. You could literally open a $300 account and buy $1 worth of Batcoin, and they're okay with it. It makes it very accessible to many different people from many different walks of life. Now, on the other end of things, it's kind of interesting, they have a cap. You can only buy $75,000 worth in one order. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but that is available if you're a high roller and you want to go in that and you want to roll in that direction. So the other side of this is, yes, you have minimums and maximums, but as far as the fees go, I was looking at Coinbase, I was looking at a bunch of different providers and looking at their fees, and I think Tastyworks is priced very fairly. What they do is they charge 1% of your purchase. So if you went ahead and you spent, for example, Batcoin, $200 you spent, they would charge you 1% of that. Okay, so you'd pay $2 for that trade. If you wanted to buy $2,000 worth, you'd pay 1%, except they're really good about capping their overall fees. They do it in options, they do it in crypto. You can buy as much crypto as you want with a cap of $10 for that trade. So if you bought $2,000 worth of 
that coin, you would think you'd be charged $20, 1%, but that's not true. It's 1% up to $10. I think that's super fair. I love how Tastyworks does their pricing because they try to encourage you to get involved. They don't want to make the fees overwhelming so it discourages you. They want everyone to come into the markets and trade and they're doing a great job with their crypto platform as well. So now that I have my account enabled for crypto, I'll be able to log out of this account, log back in and start trading cryptocurrency right away. I will update you if I do make a purchase, but for right now, I haven't bought anything. So I'm gonna be watching some coins, seeing which one appeals to me, and then possibly diving in. I hope this video was helpful. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you stick around. If you got any value out of this video, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you really wanna support the channel, come on over and grab a channel membership by hitting the join button, $25 a month, private Slack group you can interact with us live every morning in real time, which is pretty cool with an awesome group of people. And if you want to sign up for the Tastyworks account, hit that link below. The channel will get a credit. I'll really appreciate it. And you're going to be pretty happy because Tastyworks at Tasty Crypto is pretty awesome. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.